We're just outside of Palm Springs, California at a private race club called Thermal, where a lot of very wealthy guys drive very expensive toys like this one, the 2017 Acura NSX. Now, it's been a while since Acura built an NSX. In fact, I'm standing next to the 2005 NSX, which is the last one they built. And I remember when this first came out, the critics called it the reliable Ferrari, basically a Ferrari with Honda reliability. And much of the same goes true for this NSX, except it's loaded with technology. Still has a mid-engine design, but now you have two separate electric motors up front, one for each of the front wheels. And they not only help with power at about another 100 horsepower, they also help with torque vectoring steering. We've been doing some launch control. We've been on the track. Now we're going to take this thing on the road. It's, it's been a great day so far. And stick with us as we uh, tell you the whole story of the new NSX. Okay, so we just did three laps, now we're in our cool down lap. I'm gonna put this in quiet mode. Then you might ask, why do you need quiet mode? Well, let's just say it's five o'clock in the morning, you're headed out to cars and coffee to show off your new NSX and you don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood, just stick it in quiet mode. This car's got some really cool uh, features. So it's a, it does have two electric motors. So most mid-engine cars, you lift up the hood and it's empty, it's storage space, not in the case of the NSX. You have two independent electric motors that also help with the steering, with the torque vectoring steering and came in very handy today. This is a very technologically advanced car. Uh, you have the carbon ceramic brake option which most of the first NSX's will come with. It's about a $10,000, $11,000 option. But you also have regenerative braking, and uh, that's gonna help you stop even even more. And again, we had, we had this going 130, 140 on some straightaways, and then to have to come to a pretty, uh, pretty abrupt stop to make the turns, a lot of sharp turns uh, on this track. Uh, it's, it's a perfect track for this car, uh, very flat on the turns and uh, it's just, just a very impressive vehicle with over 600 net horsepower. That's combining the 500 horsepower you get from the 3.5 liter twin turbos. There are 10 heat exchangers. If you look at most cars in this supercar category, you might have four or five. So this car generates a lot of heat, but it also dissipates a lot of heat because of all the heat exchangers. Uh, the design is, is amazing. This is, the, this is a really impressive car. And I, I tell you, this is the kind of car you can take on a track all day long and not have to worry about it. And you know, it's basically got Ferrari performance with Honda reliability. The interior of the NSX is really a geek's wet dream. It has a ton of gadgets. You have Apple CarPlay. Uh, we mentioned the four driving modes. Uh, we've been playing with them all day. I never thought I'd want to use quiet mode, but it actually makes a lot of sense. I had to make a call. Uh, somebody called me in on, on my iPhone and I was able to answer it because of quiet mode. Uh, so you do have the four modes, the quiet, sport, sport plus, and if you hold it all the way, you get track mode. I was told by Acura they spent over a year designing this steering wheel. It has really no dead spots. And uh, we spent a lot of time and got very intimate with this steering wheel all day. And uh, they were right. This might be one of the best steering wheels I've uh, ever I've ever witnessed. Uh, it has the carbon fiber inlays and uh, it's leather wrapped. And you have just the right number of controls, not too many that you can, uh, you can get them stuck. Of course, you have nice uh, paddle shifters that move with the steering wheel as opposed to uh, fixed on the column. So I really like everything they've done. I like the interior. It's by uh, by exotic car standards, it's pretty good. Also makes a pretty damn good growl. So I'm not going to go into all of the sound elements of this vehicle, but depending on which mode you're in, the valves will open and close uh, to allow more sound. And that's how they're able to shut it down with the quiet mode. But most of that, like 98%, is natural sound, not artificial sound like you get in an M3 or an M4. Let's get down to what's important, which is how does it drive? Uh, it's brilliant. You know, you've heard the term, the car drives like it's on rails. Well, this one drives like it's on rails and 
has a super brain attached to it. Uh, you know, we, we made some mistakes today and this vehicle compensated for those mistakes. So it, it takes a good driver, makes them better, a better driver makes them great. A lot of that has to do with the balance. You would expect this car to be 50-50, but no, by design, it's 42% up front, 58% in the rear. And with the torque vectoring steering, with the independent motors, uh, it really, uh, it, it just helps you just slice through corners much better than just about any car I've ever driven. Acura was very focused on giving drivers maximum visibility. I mentioned the mirror on the outside, but also this A-pillar is only 82 millimeters wide. When you look at other vehicles in this segment, uh, they're at 130 millimeters wide. So that can, even though that doesn't sound like a lot, when you're about a foot and a half, two feet away from that, it just makes it wider, creates a blind spot, and Acura took care of that. One of the complaints I have is about the dash on the NSX. It's a beautiful dash. It has these nice perforations, but as you can see right now, um, it's creating a huge reflection. The sun is harsh and really made it hard to see. The whole time, all I'm looking at is this reflection. Uh, I think they could have come up with a dash with a little less glare. So what's the bottom line on the NSX? My buddy said, would you buy this car? It's a very good question. You know, for some people who want a German car, like the R8 or the 911, there, there is only a German car. Same goes for Italian cars. As far as Japanese cars go, uh, they haven't been around as long, but they're certainly gaining a lot of heritage. With a starting price of 160000 200000 nicely loaded, uh, the NSX is going to pretty much fly off the shelves. They're only going to make 800 and only for the U.S. market to start. Eventually, they'll probably get to Europe and China. So if you're trying to get one, good luck. You, uh, you, you don't have a very good, uh, good chance. But uh, the big question is, would I personally buy this car? And the answer is, yes, I would if my desire was to have a vehicle that was very high tech. This may be the most high tech vehicle in, in its segment, in its competitive set. Those other vehicles, they have a lot of heritage and they offer something else for drivers, but uh, you really can't deny the numbers. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the driver's seat.